Today I want to talk about some new assembly tools or options actually. Now I have this very large assembly structure only with uh, nearly 15,000 components shown. I'm going to go ahead and close this and go to my assembly load options. Change the scope load to all components and then under that is what's called option and if you're in Team Center, you may have seen some of these options before. These have been there for a little bit longer, but in native NX, these were recently introduced. Uh, I can't remember exactly when, maybe a few months back, but I'm um, pretty sure most people aren't aware of them, and they are absolutely magical tools. So I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with fully load, partially load, fully load, lightweight display, and so on and so forth. These are uh, the re relatively newer tool sets especially this minimally load lightweight display. Now, as you can see, um, no inner part data is loaded can, and uh, no uh, constraint updates or anything like that can occur. So this is basically for visualization purposes right out front. So I'm gonna use that as my load. Select OK. Now, before I load that assembly, a little toolbar is gonna to appear up here in the top middle of my graphics window. And it's important to note because uh, if you're opening up a small assembly, it's going to flash quickly and go away. But if you're opening something a little larger, like this, it's going to stay up there for a minute. Now, again, uh, old computers, old connections may take a little longer for things to load. This is a relatively new computer. The hard drive's a little old, but it's still really fast. Even though there's 15,000 components, it's still incredibly fast. That's why I wanted to note this before I open the assembly. Now. When I click on this, it's going to look like all my components are loading, because they are, and here's my little toolbar, and I'm going to hit pause really quick. With that, I have paused the loading of the components. So it's in the middle of loading that assembly. Notice, I can rotate, zoom, I can inspect things, and it allows me to visually see what's going on with the assembly. It's loading, pulling things in, and I have paused that loading, not stopped, paused it. You'll notice that I have play again or resume. And uh, if I hit that, you'll see it starts pulling in components again. I'm just going to pause it again really quick. Otherwise, it's going to load all 15,000 components up really fast. And I don't want to do that quite yet. Also notice that the tool sets, everything is basically grayed out. There's nothing here for me to do because the system thinks it's in the middle of a load. If I get to the point where I have everything loaded just the way that I want, um, maybe I have a component out in space. Oh, you know what? I can use this component as a reference. I know where I'm at in the vehicle or the structure or whatever it is you're working on. I can uh, continue to load the entire thing if I want. If it's not necessary, you just hit stop. What it's going to do is at that point, it stops loading everything and makes all of your tools available. Once all my tools are available, I can go, let's say, into my Assemblies tab and say something like Open by Proximity. This is just I have to update the structure, which I haven't done, which is fine. I'm going to say that, and what's my proximity, and load. And just like that, I'm able to visualize something in the middle of the assembly, Open by Proximity. That's been in NX forever, which is a great tool. Um, I use the heck out of it. And uh, uh, but as you can see, with that minimally lightweight load, the uh, I can visualize what's going on. I can manipulate the assembly, move it around, see what's happening, um, stop that load. And if I get to a point where I do need to actually work on something, maybe I want to work on this. I can come over here and say um, open in window. So it's going to now fully load that component. Remember, anytime you open up a comp uh, a component or a part. Uh, fully like this, it's going to show all the history if there's history to be had, so that component now is fully loaded. So if it's a large component, if there's a lot of data in it, maybe a body side or a large casting, whatever it may be, it may take it a minute to fully load. That uh, lightweight, super lightweight loading is basically just a really pretty picture. As you saw, a nice resolution. I can see what's coming on, coming into the assembly. I can stop, load around that, work around that a little bit. Um, I can cut sections through it if I need to, whatever I need to do. I've got all my assembly tools and then go back in there. As I open things up, it begins to fully load those components. So um, it's just a great way to get into your assembly very, very quickly. 
Anyway, hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.